I am uh, the co-founder of Aikinta Blockchain Solutions. It's a brand new startup that is focusing on distributed ledger technologies and making them tangible, something that you can actually put in your hand. Um, I'm also a part of the IOTA Evangelist Network, which is a, um, yeah, a network of partially people from the actual IOTA Foundation and also people like myself who are just interested in the technology and um, want to work with it. What do I want to show you today? The topic tangible technology, like I said. Um, I want to show you a prototype that I'm actually uh, wearing here on my arm. I have it uh, with me, which is partially functioning. Um, it's a work in progress, of course. Um, yeah, the idea is how do I build an IOTA-based uh, prototype that you can actually uh, touch and use in your, in your everyday real life. Uh, maybe just a quick uh, hand sign. How many people are here familiar with uh, IOTA just to get an impression? Many people, okay. Um, have any people, have any of you tried to, uh, to send any messages on the IOTA Tangle network? Also a few, okay. And uh, maybe have some people tried to, to send uh, money value transactions also? I tried to send a transaction, and it's not a wallet. Okay, okay. Okay, great. That's great. Okay, so we have a few people that uh, that are interested in the in the technology. So I want to give you um, a little uh, uh, guidance to the journey today of these uh, short 20 minutes. I could talk uh, two days non-stop about this topic. Uh, I love it. I eat it, breathe it, live it. But I try to keep it really short and focused. So if we if we uh, Look at the blockchain or DLT space in general and talk about use cases. You can find plenty of use cases in the internet that are being discussed. Here is one example that is even um, categorized by industries. You can have uh, several use cases for financials, for insurance, medical, computer science, identity, government, payments, IoT and so on. If I talk about IoT, um, device to device payments, device to device directories, and so on and so forth. So it's quite a, lo a large field, and for myself, I put a, a little three um, plus 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 there because this is, of course, not everything that is happening already today and being discussed. There's a lot more, and every day it gets more. On the other hand, side you have a lot of distributed ledger technologies. Yeah, just to again, just to name a few. Next, Ethereum, Dash, Golem, uh, even Steam is on here. IOTA, of course, is also one of them. So there is another side, plenty of distributed uh, ledger technologies, and also they keep growing, and this is by far not the complete list. So how do we make sense of this? Um, I'm thinking kind of um, in a three-layer um, dimension about this, so I'm trying to put the use cases on top all the distributed ledger technologies at the bottom and then somehow try to um, connect them. It is quite, um, yeah, there are quite a lot of choices. So um, for Akita, my company and, and my team, uh, we chose to, to use IOTA. Why did we use, uh, why did we choose IOTA? First of all, it doesn't have any transaction fees. Yeah? So if we work with something that is tangible, like this watch on my arm and I want to send transactions um, daily or a min in every minute, every second, I need to do a lot of transactions. And even if I just have a small transaction fee, at the end of the day it's going to be a lot if all the Internet of Things is uh, communicating with each other and sending transactions and have to pay for that, right? Another big point is scalability, which has been discussed a lot. I'm not going to go into detail. And of course there are a few more details once you go down the rabbit hole more and more. So the next, um, the next selection process for us was, um, there are so many use cases, we cannot talk about them forever. Yeah, I have 1,000 arguments against it, 1,000 arguments for it, and never actually do something. So our idea was, why can't we take our physical heartbeat that every human being can relate to, and it's quite important to everybody, digitize it, and somehow connect it to a distributed uh, ledger technology. Save it, for instance, in a tamper-proof way.
So the piece in the middle was uh, was missing. There are a few companies who are actually focusing um, since uh, since last year to to actually build uh, prototypes, to actually uh, use also some real hardware and not only focus on on financial products and intangible uh, products, but also on the variety of other possibilities that the DRT uh, offers. Um, so again, our goal at Akita is to make DRT tangible and to develop prototypes. Yeah, so very clear focus. Any questions so far? Are you still with me on that journey? Okay. Not so many people on the phone yet, so it's a good sign. <laughs> um, okay, then uh, the next point, of course, is um, how do I actually connect my, my physical heartbeat? How do I digitize that and connect that to, to a um, IOTA Tangle? By the way, for the people, a Tangle is a kind of um, blockchain or next generation blockchain that IOTA is using, it has a, a little different approach, I'm not going to go into detail because I just don't have the time for today, but Tangle in IOTA terms is what, what their infrastructure is or their architecture. Okay, so just to, to give you um, enough of the slides and, and the prehistory, so actually what we did um, last week, I still have the badge here from uh, the Bosch Connected World um, IoT um, convention um, last week. We had two teams there and we just um, developed for two days straight, which was quite uh, stressful and not did not involve a lot of sleep. Um, we developed a different concept and just went for it and connected hardware. And also we took this watch and said, okay, we, everybody or a lot of people nowadays have smart watches and there are sensors which can monitor your heart rate easily. It's not a revolutionary thing. But um, how do you get this physical heartbeat digitized, then extract from this watch? Right now, by the way, I'm, my pulse is 100, 199. <laughs> Yeah, probably due to uh, to last week's uh, stress, and, and also today I have to go to uh, to another client later on, so it's a lot of stress. But anyways, you can see my heart rate uh, live right here. So what we just try to do is, okay, how can we take this uh, 97 BPM and attach it to the, to the tangle? Yeah, it must be quite easy. So just go for it and and uh, extract some kind of uh, data set, uh, maybe a JSON package or something and um, attach it to the tangle and then everybody can see it. Actually, like always in reality, it's always a little bit more uh, complex and the devil is in the detail, but anyways, we went for it. So for this particular uh, prototype, you also need another device. You need a companion. So actually, my heart rate is going through the watch. The watch is connected to the phone. The phone is then sending data over the internet to the servers of Fitbit usually and you could also log in into the Fitbit servers and just check your heartbeat. But we wanted to extract, uh, we wanted to change the last part and not use the Fitbit servers because it's, it's a centrally owned um, server and Fitbit can do basically whatever they want. They can stop uh, offering the services like um, Pebble did by the way. Uh, Pebble was recently bought uh, by Fitbit and was the first watch that we wanted to use but since they don't have support, we just went for the Fitbit. Then uh, you have to deal with different APIs. There are different uh, methods how to extract uh, the data again. Do you extract it from the watch uh, directly or from the, from the phone or from the server? So all these different things. Um, we, we tried all the possibilities, did a lot of trial and error, and actually came to, to some conclusion. <coughs> and um, also made a little uh, mock-up uh, website which looks basically like this this is uh, very fresh, we just developed this uh, last week so you have some kind of oh, you cannot even see this um, sorry, excuse me can you So, this is the commander here for the future. I can make this one. 
Does anybody know the commands to share a screen with for the MacBook? <laughs> Thank you. So I'm basically blind on my laptop, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so now you can actually see. So uh, we just made a, a small uh, mock-up dashboard. Um, it's showing the, the heart rate data, and you can also see um, the, uh, the user is myself, Nino Ulrich, and then we have uh, a few heart rate sets. Uh, one time it's 68, then it's 97, then it's 101. Um, you have the sensor, the sensor is right here on my arm. Um, you have a timestamp which is immutable on the, on the Tangle saved. Uh, even I cannot uh, change it uh, afterwards. And uh, just for fun we put the geolocation of this uh, location here um, also in this field. And of course this could be uh, expandable um, in any ways. So let's take a look at one uh, one transaction, so this is a typical, this is the Tangle Explorer, this is uh, the same as for Ethereum or Bitcoin uh, Blockchain Explorer, you can explore any transactions that are based on IOTA Tangle. You have a transaction there, um, you have also, um, then you can see there is a tag, uh, we just named it Akita Smartwatch, um, even the address, you can mo uh, modify it a little bit and we played around with it and also called it IOTA Prototype Tangible Tangle. <coughs> And then actually comes the crucial part, the signature and the message. Um, first of all, is sent like this. So this is in an encrypted fashion. <coughs> so nobody can see uh, what's actually behind it. And you would, you would need some kind of private key to decipher it. You can also show this in a, in a, in a string or in a text, where everything is just uh, yeah, more readable, but still not nice. And you can also um, show the JSON file a little bit nicer. And there you have your timestamp, uh, the device, uh, heart rate, geolocation, user, and also uh, Sasha1337 is one of my core developers. <coughs> and we just put him in there. And like I said, you can expand this uh, as you wish, basically. So how does it get into the tangle? That's actually where the, where the magic happens. You have to, um, who, who made the question? Ah, oh, yeah, thanks. Um, there are there is a, um, a um, sorry there's a JavaScript uh, library um, that's published by the Ota Foundation. So this is most of the time what we use as a base. And there are some people on GitHub, and uh, we just take that and build on that our own uh, software, and use the, the specific uh, API or the specific um, yeah, hardware related. So it runs on the phone. Sorry. It runs on your phone. So your that's actually is connected to your phone. Yeah. The phone is then doing this. Or yeah. Into a server. Yeah. But so um, key? yes. But I would actually not like to go much deeper into this right now because this is really a a, a big large topic where you can also have uh, several approaches how you could do it. There's not only one way. But basically, it's it's my heart rate goes to the to the watch. The watch goes to the phone. The phone connects to a server, <coughs> and then. Uh, you build, you build some uh, program to attach it to, attach it to the tangle. Mm. In the meantime, because um, I don't want to bore you with my uh, with my talk only, um, if some of you have um, a QR um, reader on your phone, you can actually check out my heartbeat. <laughs> if you use your QR code right now. Because I love, I know you love your phone so much. You can actually um, see all the data there, and like I said, it's immutable forever. So this is one of the the use cases or one of the things that you can utilize the Tango for, and that we focused on uh, for this prototype. I'll just keep this up for a few minutes.
So, yeah, basically this is what I wanted to cover. Um, of course, this is just a very narrow, uh, very narrow use case and very simple. Some of you might maybe ask, why should I do this? Or does it make any sense? Well, of course, this is just the beginning for one prototype. We are developing uh, three different hardware prototypes in parallel at the moment. We will publish a documentation in, in two weeks about this watch. And um, we also have some requests from, uh, from the Bosch Connected World, from some uh, big industry leaders, especially in the IoT and in the tech industry, that, um, that want uh, my team to basically develop some proof of concepts that in, in, uh, involve also some uh, prototype building, some more background um, sharing knowledge about IOTA and Tangle and how everything is working. Okay, now we can have uh, three, three more minutes of, of questions, if you like. Is the prototype working on the mainnet currently, or are you using like uh, Santos environment, or uh, because I know that the mainnet is kind of not working very well when it comes to transactions currently? Yeah, yeah I mean actually, if you do, if you uh, there is a test net, and you should actually use the test net for tests logically, but but for this one, uh, just because we want it to be fast and really have something that that you can uh, touch and and that works at least uh, partially. Uh, we used uh, the mainnet, so this transaction is also on the mainnet. Oh, okay. <coughs> um, I have a question generally about IOTA. So why did Bosch invest into IOTA? <laughs> I have no idea. When I when I scan the code, I can see the uh, the data, right? So I can see that you were the heartbeat of like 68 or something. Um, but like if I use that, I wouldn't want the world to see my heart or my other data. So is there an approach where you can, uh, I think you mentioned earlier a private key where you can decrypt the information, so. Exactly, that's uh, what we, uh, if you if you have taken this transaction, you can scroll between trites <coughs> and text. So this is one way of posting a message, but you could also post a completely private uh, message where you would need an invitation or a private key to see that data, especially people from the health industry or even in the industry 4.0 where people say I have very sensitive data that I want to keep for myself and not share with everybody because it's my core business in there. There are possibilities to, to have really private messages, semi-private public messages and completely public <coughs> messages. So when, when something gets uploaded to Tangle and it uh, the tangle gets trimmed. What, what happens to that data? Like, can you keep it consistently on on the tangle? Yeah. So um, I'm I'm in very close contact with the IOTA Foundation. I'm not the IOTA Foundation uh, myself again. So also any price speculations or why they did anything, I can really not. I don't want to be rude. I just cannot say any, and I don't want to say anything to that. But in generally, the concept how the the tangle works is they make uh, snapshots, so you don't have uh, the complete history of all the transactions, like it's with Bitcoin or Ethereum. And from these snapshots on, you have a new tangle that is actually um, developing itself. I could, I could show a nice uh, live demonstration, but I think my time is up. You can use your time after the talk here, it's fine. Thank you very much.